you got stooges everywhere backstage. Everywhere. Most of your stooges basically are your referees. Really? Oh, yeah. Because, no, what happens, Vince will call him in. <clears throat> and he'll say, hey, guys, anything I need to know. Because you're in the back. You're hearing all this stuff. <clears throat> and you have to come in here to get directions from me. So nobody, see, if, if one of the talents walked in Vince's office, you know, they can say, oh, that's how he knows. But the referee's walking in and out all night long. They don't think they can't pin it on anybody. So I, I don't I don't put a lot of faith into what Regal and Punk. I don't know what their beef is, but it was something. So we'll just have to speculate on that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Uh, biggest stooge that you ever encountered? Who was sort of like a stooge in the worst sense that would pretend to be your friend, and then would just go over to the other side of the locker room and just basically blab. <laughs> a lot of them, but I would say guys that people don't even know now. It was a guy in. Kansas City named Bob Brown. Oh, he's the biggest stooge in the world. Bull, he was Bulldog stooge. Bob Brown. Bulldog Bob Brown. And he was he was a big stooge. And and in Memphis, he you know, Jerry Jarrett, he had his stooges and but he could he could just call and Lawler had his stooges too. So hey, you had all kind of spies <laughs> <laughs> in all these dressing rooms, but you don't know exactly where it comes from. So, but a lot of guys, if th th they would say things like what happened at the, at the motel or what happened here or what happened there. And usually nothing happened about it. When it went to Jerry Jarrett, he would just take it with a grain of salt and, and just keep an eye on it. But, but I can't name the number one stooge. I'd have to think about that, mm. but they were a lot around. Basically, I operated that everybody is a stooge, so I didn't say nothing to nobody. And I tried not to knock guys because that's one of the greatest things in the world, riding down the road with a bunch of wrestlers. They'll start knocking one guy. And this is what I always loved. A guy would say, well, I'm not going to say anything bad about him. But now here it comes. Oh my God, he didn't do that. Oh, really? What the hell? And some of those informative gatherings have resulted in fights about a week later. So, and but I knew where it came from. But again, I'm I'm I was always good at minding my own business. Why is Stu's the biggest insult in wrestling? Well, this makes him like the the bottom of the pecking order. Like the only way he can keep a job is by stooging to the boss. There's not a lot of respect attached to that. So that's why.